Sarah Bareilles joins us right now. Good morning. I like that color on you. Yeah. Thank you. Of a little course. Look good in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what does it mean to be part of this beloved show's second revival on Broadway? It is so special. I mean, and the, this is my first time doing a Stephen Sondheim show, mm. and it's the first production that's been mounted since his passing as well. You know, the, the company is on Broadway right now, but this is the first... Uh, show that's gone through a process of being put up without Steve in the room. So it's it's poignant in a lot of ways. And yeah. and the themes of the show are so resonant right now. It's battling giants. It's, you know, what is coming at you, our humanity getting sort of pushed to the brink and where we break and where we fail. And you you say we... it's always timely. How it, so, this, this show? So James Lapine, who's the book writer, the script writer, shared this story with us when we were in our, our meet and greet for, for the City Center production of the show. Um, he said it was written in and around the AIDS crisis, so that was the first time it came to be. And the second time it was revived was after 9-11. Mm. And here we are in, in sort of the third time COVID on pandemic. Broadway. And yeah, it's really... Along with other things, Gil. Yeah, yeah I mean, just along, dealing with, with along with other things. I love the exchange in the green room with John LaPook, who has seen it, was raving about you. <laughs> so is Shauna Thomas, uh, the big cheese around here. Everyone was saying you were so great. So John says to Sarah, so do you have perfect pitch? And she says, no, but I'm a very good singer. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. A little subtle flex. Is this so, short or true? Oh, no, I love that. I, I can't, you can't say sing me a C or, you know, sing right. me a B flat. No, I can't but, find but it. But you can sing, though. Well, I can, you sing, can it. sing it. No, I would, <laughs> I would right? know. You can write she wrote, because I wrote, I saw you in Waitress. Yeah. I was too. There. In Amazing. row G, my favorite row when you're in the theater, because it's right in the middle. Oh. So I was there opening night. You wrote, you sang the lyrics to that. How about that? I, know, I mean, that's the that thing. trifecta. Yeah. Thank you. Talk about a flex. Yeah. So how is this different preparing for Into the Woods compared to Waitress? I loved you and Waitress. And well, I, I mean, thank you so much. I, Waitress is the, the great love of my artistic life, huh. but I it was really amazing to come in just as an interpreter, you know, to not mm. have my relationship to the material of Waitress was, you know, years and years of, of workshops and working it on other people. And, and so this was a really interesting kind of experiment as an actor mm. and and to come in and find who is my baker's wife and there it's it's you know it's been there's incredible performances of this very iconic role all, all over the years and and but that's what I love about theater you can you can feel like you know a show but on different casts it has a different flavor and I think our cast is e exceptionally special so as a lyricist and a composer um, when you approach material like Stephen Sondheim's material what is that like yeah what is that like um, when the just post panic attack <laughs> <laughs> um, right on the edge I mean let me tell you this is hard this this is a dense show. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Hard how how? It yeah. is so it's it's complicated. The themes are complicated. The lyrics are complicated. It's really dense. There's it's very wordy. And then the first time we did it at City Center, we had ten days to learn the show, and I didn't know the show going into it. So, like, you want me to memorize? Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Into the woods to get the what to die. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> there are plenty of finales where I just would turn up stage and just like mouth something. You yeah. talk about healing energy. Um, what do you mean by that, and how has it personally healed you? For me, I mean, I, this is why I love doing theater. I mean, what we are seeing happen in the audience is, is so extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And I think people are realizing they're getting something they didn't even know they were hungry for. That they needed. They really needed this. There's something about the fact that this, this story is woven through fairy tale that I think kind of awakens something childlike. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really cynical time. And so people, true. I see some people talk about the show as being sort of like, oh, it's an escape. But I actually think it's just dealing, it's dealing with this very intense subject matter, but in a way where you can actually, it's Digest it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can engage because you know, we soften well, the blow a little bit. Well, you know what I need? Well, I, I want to go. Season three of Girls yeah. 5 Eva. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Sarah Bareilles, Let the world you know. have a favorite Sarah Bareilles song? Mine is Brave, because I think it's helped so many people at different times. Do you have a favorite Sarah Bareilles song? That, that is one of them. I love that, that song. That song has really taught me a lot. And anytime you can see something you make sort of 
become to belong to yeah. some, to everybody uh, yeah. else. Like, that feels really special. Helps a lot of people in a lot of ways. So you're there until August. So August twenty second. Yeah, yeah, August twenty first. So I think. we need to get there before. Come you leave. see the show. Yes, yes, yes. Done and done. We thank you. Thank you.